We're in battle. This is life or death. But today we choose life. So we are praying. And we are receiving the spirit of life in this room. individually 
but the devil just tried to release a spirit of fear. And we bind it up now. We break its back. And we rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the an abundant life. We know that you will satisfy our sister now. She, she will fulfill all the will of the Father in the earth. With complete strength of her body. Both sides functioning properly. And we're going to be documented in the name of Jesus. That our God is a miracle worker. Give the Lord a shout of praise in this place. Before I came here, I was trying to ignore it. The enemy said somebody's going to die in your service today. I tried to ignore it. Yeah. You, you don't you don't play with the things of the spirit. The enemy hates us. He hates our ministry. He hates salvation. He hates when healing and deliverance come. This is the deliverance house. Full of supernatural. So I don't care about no offense. If you wasn't praying in that moment, you had to go. Jesus can heal. Do you, do you not understand, First Lady? That see, see people. You know, uh, the thought would be, was the people getting what you were saying? But God was literally uh, preparing uh, the way and opening the door to that miracle place. See, see people got to teach them. You got to follow what God is doing in the spirit. And while you were sitting there, I said, God, what are you preparing them for? He was trying to give you the antidote to miracles. But some of y'all done missed it. You got to start loving people more. You got to start forgiving and letting stuff go. Who am I talking to right there? experience God in a whole new way. And you say, you in church. God wants to use you in this hour to evangelize and tell the good news of Jesus. Uh, you're you're, you're uh, waking up and the agitation in uh, your sleep is because God is calling you and the agitation in your spirit and the understanding that I'm giving you now is because he's calling you just like he did Samuel he just didn't know it was God calling you but God said I'm calling you there's many doors that God is going to open for you in evangelism I see you traveling I see you going to Africa see you going over to Haiti. And I even hear the Lord say this is a, a confirmation of what the Lord has said to you even in your own vision and dream how he speaks to you. You're really a prophet. You're a prophet of the Lord. Somebody grab his glasses. You're a prophet. And the Lord is going to use you May the anointing on my life of intercession be upon you now. May you be praying here in Michigan. May he shoot your spirit all over. In Jesus' name, somebody say it is so. It is so.
Everybody in here healed? Anybody else need healing in their body? Who need healing in their body? Come. Come, let's make it quick. We're going to go to the next phase of the service. Then we're going to have some bills. Let's go. All of you need healing. Well, you got enough power up in here to get you healed. Let me tell you something. Mother Harriet was having a stroke. And I said, my God, that was it. And then he said, somebody gonna die in your son. I said, the devil's alive. She wasn't responding. But after we prayed, she started responding. Yes. She's not all the way there. <laughs> But she started to respond. So I say this to all of you. You ready to receive your healing? Amen. You ready? I'm going to lift up your hands. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The prophets are going to come and pray for you. Whatever that element is, God is going to heal you. Are you ready? forward. 